uh, uh, Karim Bezema recently, and he's back, and let's see how, how he can help Chris Henry. All right, let's get you over to the commentary team for this one. Kevin Keatings and Jerry Armstrong. So we're underway in the Classico, and the atmosphere absolutely sensational, as you would expect. And out here tonight, starting Gareth Bale, Cristiano Ronaldo, James Rodriguez, Neymar and Suarez, the five most expensive footballers of all time, playing at the same time for the first time, at a total cost of £367 million. It's going to be feisty, and Jerry, it's going to need a strong referee in Fernandez Borbalan. Well, the, the antics has already started, Kevin, with Suarez making a meal of a challenge from, from Ramos. And have a look, he wins the ball cleanly, but Suarez has gone down and he's trying to well, get a little bit of sympathy from the referee. And the, he pleads his innocence, Ramos, but you can see there the way they press when the, the, the ball was with the back four with Barcelona. That's the key for me. They start fast, usually Real Madrid, especially in these classicals. And Suarez has done his team a little bit of a favour because he's taken the pressure off and got them a free kick. Rafa Benitez got his strongest front line out. It's not been the case, of course, in recent weeks, but Ronaldo, Bale, Benzema, all in place. The big news, the team news for Barcelona, is that Lionel Messi, who's been out for so long, is back in the squad, not in the starting 11, but available on the substitutes bench. Well, we could never have expected him to start Kevin after being out for seven and a half weeks, and uh, I think that's the right decision. He's a great player to have on the bench and uh, certainly will want to make an impact and I think he will definitely start this game no way through there for Ronaldo touched away by Rakitic only as far as Modric now Varane looks as though he's the permanent partner alongside Ramos certainly the first choice centre-back pairing for you now Jerry Ramos and Varane was, all, was always the first choice for me because he was the future when he came in a few years ago. Great pace over the short distance, long distance, good on the ball as well. Just lacked a little bit of experience, but he's been playing on the national side and, you know, he gets better every game I watch him. Rafael Varane is class. Well, class etched all over this fixture. Marcelo, Ronaldo. Tries the trick, looks to buy himself a metre of space, claims a corner. And he gets a corner. Very positive start, which is what we expected, Kevin has said at the start. This is the sort of thing they're going to do, they're going to press this back four, that's how you play against Barcelona. First Clasico for Rafa Benitez. And his side on the front foot. Ramos can't meet that, PK did. Here's Marcelo. Hamez sees the cross block by Alves. Now Modric. It's too much for Benzema. Well, I think with the exception of uh, Carvajal, I think this is their strongest side, Kevin, and they've had a lot of injury problems, but it'd be happy, Rafa, that he's he's getting his best side back together again. He's had James Rodriguez out injured, Benzema's been out, you know, Bale's been out, they've all been out for one reason or another, but uh, this is the real Real Madrid you're going to see tonight. First opportunity for Neymar to run at that Real Madrid defence, been in brilliant form lately. In the absence of Messi, he and Suarez have certainly been amongst the goals, scored between them, Barcelona's last 17 goals. I think he's been sensational, Kevin. You know, he took the mantle on from Messi. We wanted to see someone take that on board, and he's done it really well. And top goal scorer in the league. Done a fantastic job. 23 years old, Neymar, and already signs that he's going to be a leader and will be the winner of the Ballon d'Or, according to... Romalho, a very experienced Brazilian coach, the man who gave the nod to Neymar and his family in which club to join. He said, yes, Barcelona is the perfect fit, and it certainly proved to be the correct decision. Here's Piquet. Now Sergio Roberto's taken his opportunities well this season. 
He's had a great start to the season. And certainly it's taken him three or four years, three or four seasons to get in and establish himself. But he came in at a right back position, did fantastically well, surprised me. Playing in midfield, he's playing a little bit more advanced. I don't think they're going to play a front three. I think he's going to play as a right side of midfield player. Well, usually this fixture produces an early goal. Last four Classicos have seen a goal inside the opening seven minutes. We're in the sixth minute now. Dani Alves, Mascherano, Jordi Alba. Classico, of course, arriving just after the international break. A lot of these players have had a, a great deal of travelling to endure from their respective countries. Can play its part. This is not just a physical test, it's a mental one, too. PK drives the pass beautifully into the path of Alba. Fed in early to Suarez. Here's Neymar. Great play, Kevin. Excellent play down this left hand side. Fabulous one touch. Layoff and uh, well, the shot from Neymar. I think we expected better, didn't we? And certainly, this is what it's all about. Alves pass in, lovely layoff. He's a good target man, Suarez, and he's leaning back Neymar as he puts this one over the crossbar. And he knows he should have hit the target. Oh, mistake! Taken on here by Benzema. Hamez looking to get up in support. It's an excellent challenge from Dani Alves. Good recovery there. Well, I'm not sure Benzema's 100% match fit. PK will be happy that he got away with that mistake. Bale's header looking for Ronaldo. Dani Alves in charge again. Here's Rakitic. Sergio Roberto. Alves. Bit of room now for Ivan Rakitic. A sloppy return pass from Sergio Roberto. Well, both Real Madrid and Barcelona in the early weeks of the season saw a number of their rivals in the Primera Division start off well, Celta Vigo, Villarreal. Just hit the buffers a little bit, those two. And Real Madrid and Barcelona are currently one and two on the table. And head-to-head -head here at the Bernabeu, and it's Ronaldo, and it could open up here, and it's a strong hand, and it needed to be, it was important for Claudio Bravo. Sergio Roberto, Barcelona with this different style to Real Madrid, not as quick as they move the ball through the various compartments of the team, as usual patient possession style, and then they look in the right areas to up the pace in that final third. Busquets. forever offering width. This is definitely a ploy, Jerry, from Luis Enrique to do this, to just try and play at the tempo that Barcelona want, because Real Madrid, another team that like to get shaken out of their rhythm, they like to play at a much faster tempo. Now they do, and it's, it's a tactical point that I'm sure these two managers have not experienced before because they, they've never come up against each other before. As PK's on the ball. 
first time in over six years there's been two Spanish head coaches in the Clasico. Taken on invitingly here by Sergio Roberto. Suarez onside! Luis Suarez fires Barcelona ahead in the Clasico. Sergio Roberto with a surging run and the assist. And Luis Enrique and Barca hit the front. It's a burst of pace from Sergio Roberto, Kevin, through the middle. And you can see the defenders dragged out. Sensational pass, and Suarez does what he's done well this season. This Neymar Suarez combination has been superb. Now, what's this? Sergio Roberto picking up the ball, great acceleration, and he releases it just at the right time. Ferran plays him on side. Outside of the right foot as Ramos is getting back, and he bends it in the far corner. Brilliant goal, cut and thrust. First blood to FC Barcelona. Wonderful finish from one of the very best. International duty has not dulled his senses. Well, it was more than nine minutes for the first cold cap, but it was worth waiting for. Sensational football. And the gauntlet is thrown down. Here's Benzema. the first time Real Madrid have been behind at home in the league this season. Well, you know they've not been beaten at home in the league or any competition this season, so lots of pressure on them. But if it's going to be an early goal, they've got to come back from Kevin there. I think they know where they stand. Suarez, beautiful turn. Danilo covered well against Neymar. Iniesta. Now Pique. Busquets. Jordi Alba. Plenty of room here for Javier Mascherano. Good run by Neymar. I'm watching it, Kevin. Do you know what? Neymar's coming out wide and he's slowing the game down at a pace that suits Barcelona, as we said earlier. But then all of a sudden, somebody will make a little burst. There's a little one too, and they're cut and thrust. They're just trying to get in behind this Real Madrid defence, and they've done it once and got a goal. And I think that's a tactic snipe for Luis Enrique. It's a miscontrol. Ronaldo closed down well. Here's Alves, Sergio Roberto. I've got to say, that's got to be the biggest assist from Sergio Roberto I've seen in his career. And he, we're just praising him and saying how well he's done this season. Iniesta. Oh, great pass. Onside. Sergio Roberto. Barcelona threatening to open up Real Madrid again. And Rakitic wasteful. Wow, Kevin, that's a chance, you know. I know the angle was tight. Might he have been better having a shot at goal. Certainly tight. He's a little pirouette back, teed it up for Rakitic. What a pass this is from Andres Iniesta. And coming in behind Marcelo. Thought he might have had a goal. Rakitic places it way over the top. But this is what I've said, slow, 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 and then suddenly that one pass, it's getting in behind the back four and creating an opportunity. Jordi Alba. Busquets. It's been his usual elegant, efficient self. 
Ball in midfield row. Nobody better in world football than Busquets. Reads the game so well. Look, Sergio Roberto coming deep again. Kevin makes an extra midfield player. And I think they're not getting Modric on the ball enough for Real Madrid. Someone's gone down injured. Is it Mascherano? Drawing. Now, he had a groin problem about three weeks ago. That's not a reoccurrence. That would be horrible if that happens to him. You can see overstretches just there as James Rodriguez. Well, he, he maybe caught him on the follow through as well. Yeah, he did. Maybe it's just a, a straightforward kick and not the groin that he had the problem with three or four weeks ago. And that's what Luis Enrico will be hoping. It's just an impact injury here. There's a key component, of course, of Barcelona's challenge not just today, but for the whole season. Well, this is the burst. Again. That's the burst, Kevin. That takes two, three players out. Have a look. And the Barcelona supporters in Miami are celebrating. Well, all over the world they'll be celebrating. This is Shanghai. Christian Kerenberg was there earlier. You can't just see the celebrations. Been, just to being one or two Barcelona supporters in that shot in Shanghai, but mostly wearing the white of Real Madrid. Mascherano seems ready to come back on. That's good to say. He's a world-class central midfield player, holding midfield player, but Kevin, he could, he's done the job for years now, filling in as a, an auxiliary centre-half. Here's Iniesta, nothing to his right, so finds Jordi Alba. Neymar available to his left. Well, that was wasted a little bit for me. Had a pass on on his left side and didn't use it. Real Madrid still haven't really settled down and got the rhythm for me 17 minutes into the game. Here's Gareth Bale. Has been a big man for a big occasion. In the past. Bale again. Sweeps a lovely looking cross in. Oh, look at this behind Kevin. Danny Alves was the defender involved. Well, he was clashing with Ronaldo. Both of them went down long before the ball came in. As that sweeping cross came in from the right hand side with the left foot of. Now let's look at it from here close up. Well, he's got a hold. He's got both his arms wrapped around him. He goes down very easy though for me, Ronaldo. But you can't put your arms around a player. And I think Danny Alves knows in a straightforward leap between the two of them, he's going to lose out. That was so, so risky from Alves. Totally unnecessary. If the official saw what we saw, it would have been a different kettle of fish. And Senor Borbalan obviously didn't see what we saw. Mascherano, Alba. Ronaldo forces PK back with Bravo. He's not wanting to kick long. Real Madrid trying to force and Harry Barcelona out of possession as they look to play out from the back. Here's Rakitic. I think that's the way forward. They've got to press, but they've got to do it collectively. And there's a player down, Kevin. Referee's seen it, and Danny Alves has put the ball out of play. It's not going down too well with the fans here. I think it's Jordi Alba. It is Jordi Alba. But you've got to press and squeeze as a unit. The front three have got to do it better. I know they're not 100% fit. They haven't had 100% match play. And that's a nothing challenge, really. It's a 50 50 Gareth deal. Maybe catches each other's studs, but much ado about nothing for me. Here's PK. Just in case you've joined the classical late, glad you've managed to pull a seat up. You're more than welcome to the biggest game in in the world, club football. And Luis Suarez has Barcelona in front. 
he then gives it away to Danilo. Modric, Hamis. Now Tony Cruz. Danilo keeping his place at right back. Danny Carvajal said his injury problems this season. Fit again, but only on the bench. A reminder, Lionel Messi back and on the substitutes bench for Barcelona. Varane clattering into Suarez, who didn't like the attention as Varane seemed to rake down his Achilles. Well, there's contact, but I don't think it's as much as... I see that's not down the back of his Achilles, it's caught on the outside of the boot. And I think, again, there are, for me, Suarez is making the most of the situation. He's melting it big time. Who would be a referee, Kevin? Fernandez Borbel, and you have got your work cut out tonight, Senor. <laughs> Pique drives it long. Suarez will inevitably give chase. Great on Navas, doing that sparkling form for Real Madrid this season. Team with the best defensive stats in the Primera Division. And a lot of that's been down to Navas. I say penalties, he's made fantastic saves, but uh, I just don't think they've got goal on the front three for me, have not really made any impression yet. It's a big call from Rafa Benitez, because Benzema has been out, as we know, for the last six games. Six, six weeks nearly, yeah. Well, I think you've got to play your big-name players, and obviously if he's fit, 100% fit, match fit. But uh, that's the gamble. Gareth Bale himself is only his second game back after four matches out. James, Ramos, approaching the midway point of the first oh, half, it's stay. given away by Ramos, and that spells danger, Neymar, referee looking to play advantage, now will call it back for the free kick, and it will be a yellow card for James Rodriguez. Well, it was a mistake by Sergio Ramos, that square pass was poor, and I do feel that James did what he had to do, he's not the quickest, and he's on his... He's square, he's on his back heels, and he's caught him. Certainly a free kick for me, definitely a free kick. And I would think probably a yellow card as well, yes, on the, looking at that action. Haven't seen much of Neymar, he's not, not had many opportunities to run at defenders. And good opportunity, this free kick. Taylor Novice has got to get his wall sorted out, it's a three-man wall. Might just have been a call there for Miniesta to Neymar to think that this is close enough to really test Navas. Good angle for the right foot of Neymar. Yeah. Strikes it to the far post and Navas had read it all the way. Kevin, uh, Suarez is trying to get a little touch on that. He comes across that line of the ball. Have a look at it again. Look, he's just trying to get a glance, and he's only got the inches away. He gets a touch in that, and I tell you, it's in the back of the net. Barcelona will be more than encouraged by their present status in the Clásico. One more attempt, one that's counted for Suarez. I think technically they've got it right as well, certainly Luis Enrique, and here's Iniesta. Rakitic. Sergio Roberto! And there was a chance to double Barcelona's lead. What a chance, Kevin. Snapshot. He's got to get his knee over the top of it. Play continues. That's a really great chance for Barcelona. Free kick for Karim Benzema. Rakitic escapes the yellow. Look at the chance later, Kevin. That was a real good opportunity. kick to Real Madrid. Rakitic looking perplexed about that decision. Here's Hamis. Now Iniesta. 
Mares just trying to poke it into Neymar, who would have been offside anyway. Now Bale, surrounded by three. Busquets timed his challenge perfectly. Given away by Suarez, looks disgusted with himself about that. Ramos, Modric. Marcelo takes on Sergio Roberto. Got by Alves. Tony Gross. Daniel's had a harmless. Well, I can't really remember any efforts on target. And what's this? Is this? Is it Mascherano again, Kevin? It is. Is it the groin? Oh, Kevin, he must have stretched it as well as got the impact. And I think it's going to have to be a substitution. Machu is already stripping off to come on. That's got to be a reoccurrence of that groin injury from three weeks ago. And that's a shame, real shame. This is the chance. In, first touch, poor defending from Modric. But what's Modric doing picking up? in the centre of the penalty area, and Sergio Roberto should have got his knee over the top of that. Do you know, Jerry, if it had been Neymar or Suarez in the position right. Sergio <laughs> Roberto was there, they wouldn't have been looking to knock the surface off the football, they would have no. just stroked that side-footed into the corner. <laughs> That's two, two players who have been scoring goals for fun over the last six or seven weeks. Well, that's a great disappointment. Awful. No, not only today for Barcelona but that looks like another spell on the sidelines for Mascherano so Mathieu comes on no Mark Bartra available for Barcelona here so it was a straight choice whether it was Vamala or Mathieu it will be the Frenchman coming on now to partner PK well he, he, at least he gives a, a height advantage which they haven't really been struggling on certainly the way Real Madrid's played in this first 27 minutes but he gives them a little bit more of a height advantage but he can't read the game like Mascherano and he doesn't make the challenges I think that Mascherano does look at this play out to the back very nearly lost possession there Busquets under pressure from Kroos Hamez smart stop down to his left from Bravo well that's the first time that he's seen that trying to play out from the back they were put under pressure and they were in trouble there Sergio Roberto's having a great game there it is there's the pass in the boost gets he's caught in possession by Tony Cross good save first time really that Claudio Bravo has been extended comes across looking for Neymar Danilo's header away only as far as Jordi Alba Neymar up against his fellow Brazilian Danilo Suarez Iniesta Sergio Roberto no nerves at all in the heat of the Classico given away by James Rodriguez Busquets knew that Iniesta was in behind. Jordi Alba will get up in support of Neymar. Great run by Jordi Alba, an important interception there by Varane. Barcelona corner. On this left hand side, Kevin, they're causing all sorts of problems. Jordi Alba overlap with Pierce. Good ball to him. Super cross in. That's the save earlier. But uh, that would have been a tapping for Suarez in the six yard box. Lots of problems on the left hand side for Real Madrid. Neymar with the corner. Well, catching practice, didn't make a particularly good job of it. Navas and releases Ronaldo. Now Benzema to clash off the ball. Involving Danny Alves and Ronaldo. Not the first time they've had the coming together. I don't think there's much wrong with Danny Alves here. He's going to be looking at a yellow card when he gets up. Yeah, he knew what he was doing, Kevin. Just like the previous incident. This, as I say, who would be a referee? Senor Fernandez Borbalan 
has got his work cut out. Lovely little one to Ronaldo's going to continue. Danny Alves knows he's no chance, so he goes straight for the player. And he gets caught with the elbow, that's what it is. He gets caught with the elbow of Ronaldo. And certainly it was Alves engineering the contact initially. And he's going to get the yellow card for it as well. History tells us he doesn't have the highest of pain thresholds. Totally shaken up by the forearm from Ronaldo. And there's a little uh, additional insult to injury for Danny Alves. He picks up. The yellow to join the earlier one from James. There were 11 yellow cards in the last Clásico in March. Barcelona winning 2-1 at the Camp Nou and 1-0 up here through Luis Suarez. Well, the good value for it, Kevin, as well. They've two or three cut and thrust moments and one fabulous moment, which was the finish from Suarez. Should have had a second goal for me, Sergio Roberto. Blasted over the top and Rakitic could have hit the target with another effort as well, but... In the opening half an hour for me, Barcelona played the better and have settled down much quicker than the Real Madrid side, who look a little bit ring rusty. And if Real Madrid fans want to hang on to a good omen, they were one down in this fixture last season. An early goal from Neymar after four minutes and recovered to win 3 1 with goals from Ronaldo, Pepe, and Benzema. Forward by Ramos. Done by Busquets. Rakitic. Marcelo. Going for a difficult pass, Marcelo. He could have led the ball off to Sergio Ramos, Kevin, and maybe the tension of the game is getting to them. Certainly Real Madrid's front three and haven't found a rhythm yet, haven't been allowed to find it. Occasionally Bale has drifted into that centre forward position to try and really support Benzema. Ronaldo has his usual floating role. He too likes to drift more and more in the latter years of his career into a genuine number nine position. Bale again playing in the middle of the front three. Very tight there. Which will offer a lot of space here for Jordi Alba. This is where they're getting the joy down the left side for me, Kevin. Neymar and Jordi Alba against Danilo is not a good combination. That's given away cheaply by Andres Iniesta. Iniesta's foul on Modric. I've seen an awful lot of look at Modric. If they want to create, Kevin, you've got to get Modric on the ball. Danilo. Hamis. And Modric claiming he got the ball. Well, he, he did. It there with Rakitic. He did, but it was the commitment. I think he went and he's launched into it. And Rakitic, to be fair to him, didn't make too much of the uh, actual challenge. Yeah, he's late. That's a launch for me, and I think the referee's got that right. Here's Iniesta. Neymar. Running again at Danilo. Now Busquets. There's so many Real Madrid players, Kevin, do not look match fit to me. You can see their touch, their movement, their acceleration. It's as if they've needed this something in 34, 35 minutes just to get into the game, and uh, they haven't done enough. Rakitic. On the way back is Ryan Pique. Now Mathieu. 
nice way to pass for Iniesta. Suarez trying to provide a similar one for Neymar. Marcelo. Good play from Barcelona, they're preventing Real Madrid getting down that left-hand side. Marcelo looks really frustrated, and that's a poor pass from Danilo. There he is, the little man. What a sub to have on the bench if you need him. See, there's no communication there. The movement's not right. They're not on the same way. I think they've got to sort this out very quickly. Real Madrid frustration there with Marcelo. Dani <laughs> Alves doing well. Suarez finding Sergio Roberto. Alves is down again. There's an awful lot of play acting going on. There may have been contact, but how much contact? Only Dani Alves knows and slowing the game down. And Barcelona were in possession, had a good attack, building up on the right hand side. I think he's got caught in the follow through from Sergio Ramos. It looks like it's a back left leg. He flicks the back left leg, Sergio Ramos. That's what he catches him with. Rodriguez, Cruz, in between the lines, there was Ronaldo, James, and now Modric, full weight for the cross, Machua with a poor attempt to clear, and not a very good effort by Benzema, and that's what six games out does for your instincts in and around the opposition's goal for Karim Benzema. Jerry, that was a chance. Oh, a mistake here by Bravo. Oh, my goodness. Cleared by Mathieu. Well, he feels his shirt was pulled by Claudio Bravo. But, Kevin, that's the point I'm making. He is not much fit. That's a great opportunity to far post. He doesn't even make contact with it, Karim Benzema. And for a fixture like this, as you said earlier, Jerry, one of the Benitez was always going to play his most experienced players. Trust to Hesse out there instead of Benzema. Well, he's doomed if he does and he's doomed if he doesn't, Kevin, you know? Yeah. That's the problem, and he's got to pick what he feels is his best 11. And he's done that, but uh, they're going to have to improve greatly if they're going to get back into this game. Luka Modric. Carried oh, really, really well by Suarez. Iniesta. Neymar onside. 2 0. Neymar doubles Barcelona's advantage. And it's a huge road back for redemption now for Real Madrid. They cut a sway through the Real Madrid defence again. No answer to it. 2 0 Barcelona in the Classico. Well, it's cut and thrust once again, Kevin. There was hands went up for offside. I'm not sure Neymar was offside. Somebody else might have been, but it wasn't him. And you can see once again cut and thrust, and they really do pick their pockets. Let's have a look. Oh, is he level? It's a tight one. And it's Ramos is looking for the offside. The linesman doesn't feel he is. And that's the gamble you take, and he's doubled the lead. That's a massive advantage getting in for half time, Kevin. And Real Madrid haven't even got started. Cut the defense wide open, no chance for Navas. And the Pichichi extends the lead. And it's those two again Suarez and Neymar. Barcelona in a wonderful position here. Long after Karim 
Benzema had that chance at the far post at the other end. Scuffed his attempt. Well, that's the difference, Kevin. Players in form who are scoring goals and comfortable in front of goal, and players who haven't played in five or six games. Oh, it's just starting, the tense is starting to build up. Neymar gets a crack on the shins. Well, Fernandez Bobel and the referee was quick to step in there. It just have been a stamp on the hand of Neymar as he goes to ground here. I don't think there's much wrong there. As he's standing him afterwards now. He looks like he's leaning offside, but Sergio Ramos' feet are inside the line and the feet of Neymar's outside the line. I think it's a good call. Yeah, I, I don't think I think you it's can, a good call. You can't raise the flag for that. He looked level. But it's a terrible gamble to take, Kevin, when you're 1-0 down. You don't do that. I think they're clutching at straws at the moment. They need a goal now, Real Madrid, to get back into this game. Here's Danilo. Modric. Varane. To Barcelona yes. throw. It's well played. Jordi Alba. And kicked it off Danilo. play Real Madrid stay on the front foot Miss Rodriguez will throw Tony Cruz there's Marcelo almost got on a miss with Ronaldo Real Madrid searching for a lift ahead of half time badly need one Cruz Danilo given away by Varane here's Neymar it's cut cross on again Kevin Suarez is free to his left and he'll get there Luis Suarez First half performance from Barcelona. To a delight, no doubt, of Luis Enrique in his 50th league game in charge of Barcelona. Lost that treble last season. And now, on the home of their arch rivals. 2 0 up. Goals from Suarez and Neymar. Well, Kevin playing out from the back again. And for me, Real Madrid players are a yard short. Every department, they're a yard short. Barcelona as the team's on top. Playing the better football, have the right tactics. As I said earlier, there's too many Real Madrid players haven't played in such a long time. Yard they short. don't look much, much, much fit to me. They don't look much fit. A yard short against Barcelona, you're in trouble. Perspective, painful viewing at the moment. In stark contrast, if your allegiance is to Barcelona, but look at this—they're not pressing at the right time. They're going after the ball has been passed. They're too late. Look at this—they just playing their way through. Jordi Alba on the break again. Barcelona in the mood to make it even more damaging. Neymar, Dani Alves, Suarez. He's away from Ramos. Just trying to cut back inside, and Ramos was able to make the challenge. Of course, we've talked about Bale being out for a spell with injury, and Benzema, Hannes Rodriguez, another yeah. who spent a lot of this season on the treatment table. Some of the passing from Real Madrid there, Danilo's pass there was awful. They've got to keep possession better than that.
players like Casemiro and Isco and Kese have all played a full part for Rafa Benitez's first season in charge of Real Madrid. It's the experience heads back tonight. And are being outplayed for much of this first half. We're into two minutes of stoppage time. Rakitic. Suarez. Rakitic disappointed his run wasn't fed there. This is Danny Alves. Now it is Rakitic, but the space he's got here, blocked by Ramos. They need half-time badly here, Real Madrid. Alves. I'm not sure if half-time's going to do any good for them, Kevin, because there's too many players. How are you going to get that match fitness? And that extra yard. Really don't know what he's going to do, Rafa Benitez, but he's got his work cut out. Match fitness doesn't return with a snap of the fingers. It has to be gradually built up. Well, the momentum is definitely with Barcelona. They're playing some good football. They keep a possession better than Real Madrid. They're creating chances. They've created six or seven chances, two or three really good chances, and they've taken two of them. And they're very, very much in control of this game as we wait for the half-time whistle, Kevin. Oh, brilliant. Neymar away from Danilo, leaves him trailing, Suarez, Neymar, it's a brilliant approach for him, has it got a finish? Oh, it very nearly did, Rakitic denied on the follow-up, hands to his head from Leo Messi, Neymar and Suarez at their brilliant best and denied by Marcelo, last play of the half, Jerry. It should have been 3-0, Kevin, brilliant one to Suarez, it's cut back here for Suarez, a shot is saved on the line by... Uh, Marcelo then a block, Rakitic has a shot and it's blocked by Varane. Look at this, headed off the line for Marcelo and Varane gets his body in the way from the shot from Rakitic. It should have been 3-0, maybe even 4-0 for Barcelona Kevin. Real Madrid have been totally outplayed in this first 45 minutes. And that is the story of it. Enrique said he was cold like an iceberg, calm and relaxed ahead of this Clasico, whether we fully believed him or not. I'll leave that open to interpretation. Said the outcome wouldn't be decisive, of course it can't be. Just 12 games after this weekend into the season. But if Barcelona do win for the 10th time in the last 15 Clasicos here and at the Camp Nou, it will be a six-point lead over Real Madrid at the top. Yeah, and psychologically, Kevin, we're chatting at half-time. Psychologically, that means an awful lot as you approach the Christmas break and uh, it's also something that you know you get a little bit apprehensive about the next game but there's 45 minutes left in this match and certainly Real Madrid need to improve drastically here's Marcelo looks for Bale well judged by Mathieu now Hamis no changes, incidentally, at half-time, beyond the one that was enforced upon Barcelona in the opening half, when Javier Mascherano picked up a groin strain and was replaced by Jeremy Mathieu. A reminder that Lionel Messi is in the Barcelona squad. After being out for so long on the bench, here's Marcelo, it's going to open up now! Oh my goodness, not at the near post, Kevin, you don't miss it at the near post, what an opportunity, goodness, goodness, and Rafa, he really needed that one, didn't he, well he does brilliant, burst of pace past Danny Alves, PK commits himself, he's in, he's just going to hit the target, or he puts it across the sixth yard box, James is waiting for a tap in, Ronaldo, they're all queuing up, and the last thing you can do is miss it at the near post. It would have been the perfect lift for Real Madrid in the early moments of this second half. And certainly, Benitez would have rattled into some of his players at half-time, but Varane's given that away cheaply to Mikan. 
normally so calm and composed on the ball, Rafa Varane. Yeah, but this is a classical, Kevin, and the pressure and being 2 0 down at home against the team you're thinking, well, if we beat them today, we go level on points with them and probably we go above them on goal difference, but that's not happening at the moment. The six point cushion looks like it's going to be in favour of Barcelona. What a let off that was. Modric. Now Bale driving at the Barcelona penalty area. Hamez! What a Fine save. stop by Bravo. What a save. Well, he's conceded 21 goals, Kevin. And his campaign playing for Real Sociedad and Barcelona. He conceded three goals here the last time he was here with Barcelona. That's some save. James Rodriguez with the corner, having gone so close to pulling a goal back. Excellent start to the second half from Real Madrid. Modric. Now Bale. Long way out. And, uh, not on target. Only two on target for me, both from James Rodriguez, Kevin. One in the first half and this one in the second. What to see if that is. That's top drawer. Well done, Claudio Bravo. As I said earlier, Kevin, he's conceded 21 goals in his career as a player here at the Bernabeu. Neymar. see the great man at some stage I suspect so if Barcelona end up strolling to victory here at the Bernabeu I think they'll want to give him a run out he's played 27 consecutive classic goals I think he wants to make it 28 you could afford to put him on with 15 minutes to go and Jerry's one goal short of becoming the all-time leading goal scorer in classical history he's level at the moment with Alfredo Di Stefano on 14. Not a bad name to overtake as well, is it? <laughs> Just a bit. Here's Neymar. Don't think Ramos got the ball. Sergio Roberto's yelp of pain suggests he didn't. Yellow card for Ramos. Well, it. There's commitment and then there's judgment. And for me, that's a poor judgment call. But Sergio Ramos has done that throughout his career, and that's why he's been sent off and booked so many times. But this is a really good position for Barcelona. They'll put it on target. Neymar fancies it again. Get it up and over the wall. Always got to chuckle, you know, when. Mathieu's playing, he gets alongside Neymar around these free kicks, and when Messi's playing, he's got absolutely no chance of taking this free kick. Real Madrid know it's going to be Neymar. Well, it's right foot, it's gone up and over the wall. It's a problem though for Navas. Neymar! Oh, and Navas just about got fingertips to that. That's good in, Kevin, that's a great save. Taylor Navas does really well. Have a look. Up and over the wall. Get underneath the crossbar, he gets fingertips to it. Well done. Neymar's corner. Dealt with by Modric. have not lost a league game at the Bernabeu since September 2014 22 game run 19 of those wins Atletico Madrid the last winners here in La Liga Iniesta nice layoff Iniesta oh, magnificent finish 
and that surely finishes the Clásico in favour of Luis Enrique and Barcelona. High, high quality, and Real Madrid are on the end of what could be a thrashing here. Well, it is a thrashing at the moment, Kevin, for me. They have not been at the races in the first 45 minutes. They had one great chance at the start of the second half and couldn't even hit the target with that. And every time Barcelona go forward, they look like they're going to score. They're always a yard behind, they're a yard late. They're not close enough, they're not pressing enough. Look at the run, lovely little back heel layoff there from Neymar. And an absolute rocket into the top corner of the net from Andres Iniesta. What a sensational goal. They are running away with the Clásico. The vast majority inside this stadium in almost total disbelief at the scoreline. He included. He hasn't had a shot on target, Kevin. I don't think they've had any service to him. I just don't think they've been at the races at all. They've been very, very poor. Well, there may be disbelief about the scoreline. I'll tell you what, the nature of the near 54 minutes we've seen, it's not a surprise. The only surprise, perhaps, is that Barcelona haven't scored more. Well, we've talked about maybe four goals they should have had. And as we speak, it looks like there's going to be a substitution. Isco's ready to come on. Here's Danilo. That's a poor cross, Kevin. Very disappointing from the attacking fullback. It's such a damaging blow, that third goal, though, because Real Madrid had started the second half so well. Suarez, player free in the middle, Sergio Roberto. Suarez down, looking for a penalty. Referee staring right at it. Fernandez Borbalan said no. Here's Dani Alves. And again, they're cutting through Real Madrid. It could be four. Side netting only for Suarez. This is like a practice game now, Kevin. They're queuing up for opportunities, and Messi is about to come into the action. That is the worst nightmare ever for Real Madrid. Messi coming on. I wouldn't want, to be honest, I wouldn't want to change it. I wouldn't want to change the person in the lineup. They're playing that well for me. But I suppose Messi being Messi. This goal is on. I think it's Hamas to take it off. That is the Real Madrid change. Well, they're going to take Sergio Roberto off because I think it would be very unfair for him to have to come off. But they are cruising at this moment in time. They don't really need to make any changes unless there's an injury of some sort. Ivan Rakitic is going to make way, Sergio Roberto will drop into his usual midfield position. As we look again at the Iniesta goal and the reaction around the world what a goal. in Miami, it's the Barcelona fans celebrating again. In Shanghai, China, looks to be more Real Madrid fans in that shot. That's why there's not too many people jumping up and down, Kevin. He is. Oh, he's loving it. Luis Enrique is loving it. And he, he's had the beauty of playing for both clubs. And Real Madrid's worst nightmare at 3-0 down, the arrival of Messi. Yeah. Isco. Gets doing his best to stay with him. Two players not blessed with burning pace, but this goes one in the corner. Well, that's a good introduction from Isco. He showed a lot more endeavour than some of the others have. Persevered down the right hand side and won the corner kick. And well, that heel coming out again from Ramos, Kevin, that's dangerous. He does that all the time. Did look contact, didn't it? Did. You can see why Smart Suarez is smiling. He thinks it should have been a penalty kick. And it's given away cheaply. Here's Isco. Space to manoeuvre now for Modric. No question, Real Madrid have got to score next to have any chance. And here's first involvement for Messi. Nine games out with injury. I don't think he looks as ring rusty as the others did, Kevin. He's going to enjoy getting into the action.
caught some pictures pre-match of Messi sauntering into the stadium. Looked like he was turning up to play in a testimonial match. Of course, nothing favour phases him at all. Here's Isco. Danilo. Wouldn't stick for Benzema. Isco. Real Madrid players needing their fans at the moment. They're just as stunned as the, the players at the moment. Corner though. Well, they are stunned, but they've been totally outplayed, Kevin. And they're lucky. That's that's the point I'm talking about. That was inside the penalty. That was a penalty, penalty. penalty kick to me. And he's done it a couple of times. He sticked that back leg out. Tony Crow's corner being delayed here. It's a substitution. Marcelo limping away and replaced by Danny Carvajal. Yet another Real Madrid player, not fully match fit. Nowhere near it, Carvajal. Here's Cruz. Ronaldo calling for the deep cross. It's too deep. Isco keeps the attack alive. Free kick against Brusquets, and three says play on. Iniesta. First classico for Rafa Benitez, and it's going horribly wrong. We've been covering Spanish football, Jerry. We've seen Real Madrid on occasions produce the seemingly impossible. We're in that category now, aren't we, for sure? I haven't really seen them capitulate, Kevin, as they have in the first 45 in this game. You know, and I, you know, I agree with Thierry Henry. Real, you know, Barcelona has not been outstanding. They haven't had to be outstanding. I think Barcelona have just turned up and done what they've done recently and they've scored goals and created chances. Here's Carvajal, deflection, only a corner. He's obviously got a problem with an injury here, Marcelo, that's why he's off. But Danny Carvajal does well, gets the strike and it takes the deflection off my two. Another Tony Cruz corner. for Isco. Yet another Real Madrid corner. Up goes Ramos, decent header in and Varane. He's his effort caught easily in the end by Bravo. It's, that's an area I think they should have done better on because they've got command in terms of height in the penalty area. Look at this, look at this. It's Neymar. Now Messi. You can see Carvajal ring rusty there, struggling to keep up with Neymar. So no contest in terms of pace shown there. There's so many other Real Madrid players are not match fed, Kevin, it's untrue. <laughs> Barcelona fans, and there aren't many who've managed to get a ticket for the Bernabeu. I'm really enjoying this. Free kick against Carvajal. Yeah, he's launched in, Kevin, and straight with the referee, Senor Fernandez Borbalan, but again, they're half a yard or a yard ahead of all the Real Madrid players, the passing, the little triangles, totally in control. I'm expecting more goals from Barcelona, to be honest. Especially with 
them on the park. Tightest defence in La Liga. It's been torn apart here. Now don't have the best defensive record in the league. Now stands to Atletico Madrid after Barcelona's three goals. Goal scorers, Suarez, Neymar and Iniesta. And Messi back and on the pitch after a nine-match absence. And almost certainly Barcelona opening up a six-point lead over Real Madrid at the top of the table. Carvajal. Ramos. Danilo stopped in at left back since the arrival of Carvajal. Peels for handball against Piquet. Well, he's, he's really adamant about it, Gareth Bale. He's trying to bend it round the outside of Piquet. Let's have a look, see. Oh, right arm, penalty kick. Have a look, right arm outside, Kevin. It's a little movement towards the ball as well from Piquet's right arm. It's two penalties we should have had now in this second half. Well, One for each side. Levels it up, doesn't it? Isco. It's going to beat Ramos. stars on view it's those and the colors of Barcelona that have been to the floor Ronaldo still brooding on the edges of this Classico and by Kroos Carvajal's ball in looking for Benzema away by Mathieu fine margins you know and you look back to 2-0. Benitez aside down at half-time, but they made a great start of the second half, and Marcelo missed that wonderful chance, and Claudio Bravo made that excellent save from James. White handkerchiefs being waved already by Real Madrid fans, they're not happy. But then it was an awful pass for Tony Kroos, Kevin. No pressure on him. But they're giving the ball away so cheaply, Real Madrid at times, it's untrue. Fine margins, keen to add in those early minutes of the second half, but the overall nature of the match has been a, quite a gulf between the two teams, and certainly in terms of fitness. Here's Messi, great oh, ball, wonderful pass, Suarez almost in, Neymar might be, and here's Messi! Wow. A vital block, that was goal bound. Varane in the way. Well, he, he was in the way for the first pass that put Suarez in, Kevin. He's got his foot in, and he's got a little bit more pace than anyone else. He's got back. What's this? Varane just picking up the run. And he gets run as he controls it. Varane gets his foot in. The ball's teed up by Neymar for Messi. And then once again, Varane gets his body in the way. It could be four, five, six goals for Barcelona. Alves. Isco needs to be careful there. Great skill. Eventually, can't link up with Modric. Messi. Messi gets the free kick out of Tony Kroos. This is uh, perhaps within range. Yeah, it's starting to look a little bit tight. This is the block from Varane. He's done tremendously well twice to get his body in the way. I think that would have been goal number four. Well, he's blocked one of them just before half time. Kevin, he blocked one from uh, the first one he blocked was on the goal line. It was Marcelo. And then the second one after that was Rakitic.
Messi's eyeing this one up. It's 30 yards out. Solid enough. White walls. Isco won't have the pace to go beyond Messi. Finds a good pass for Gareth Bale. Most to his left, including Ronaldo! Great save. Well, he'd back himself 99 times out of 100 in that position, but full credit to Bravo, who stood up well. And now at the other end. Messi. They just haven't got the legs, have they, to close Barcelona down? They're not match fit, Kevin, and... Do you know, when you've been out so long, so many players, so many key players, you know, Gareth Bale's hardly played in the last, what, six weeks? The same, James Rodriguez is even longer. And Karim Benzema's the same, that's the front three. And Ronaldo there, he'd be disappointed he hasn't scored, but I'm going to give credit to Claudio Bravo, who's come out and did really well for me. Here's Messi. Messi's missed the recent World Cup qualifiers in his injury absence for Argentina. I'm happy to see his country pick up a win in their latest after a sluggish start to qualification. Argentina have been approaching those World Cup qualifying matches, minus both Messi and Aguero. Take those two out of the picture and it's difficult for the rest. Here's the chance again for Ronaldo, yeah. he's definitely onside. Yeah, he's onside. Great piece of play, Gareth Bale, outside of the left foot. And it hits him in the head, but you give credit to the goalkeeper coming out, spreading himself, making himself big, and he can't believe it. I can't believe he hasn't scored. That's why uh, Gonzalo Higuain got a recall, Kevin, because of the injuries to Aguero and Lionel Messi. Played very well. Higuain, and he did get that recall. Having been, of course, disappointed to be dropped from the previous squads, Carlos Tevez would got in ahead of him. Higuain these days playing in Italy with Napoli. Bale struck it into the path of Ronaldo to great pass. Flags up. <laughs> Offside. Well, the flag maybe see if there's blushes there. Oh, it's another tight one. It's another very tight one. That's as close, I think, as the other one that was given for Neymar. They hit the poster, he hit the woodwork. Inside the last 20 minutes. I think they're just so full of it now, Barcelona. They're pushing forward every opportunity. And they've got this three-goal push, and they don't see themselves losing. And here comes Messi. Sets the chance up. Ramos is there. And they're queuing up to add to their advantage. And they should be added to it, Kevin. Another great opportunity. And it's end-to-end -end stuff now. Modric. Ronaldo finding Benzema. Bale. Well, for he's a interested goal kick. I think he's made the most of that one. And Jordi Alba knew what he was doing there. Bill gets the ball first, but he goes down too easy for me, Kevin. He definitely gets his foot to it first. There's not that much contact from Jordi Alba to make him go down that easy. But then Suarez has been doing it the first 20 minutes. So a little bit of a reaction from Bale having lost out to Jordi Alba and Sergio Busquets having plenty to say to Fernandez Corbella. Well, this should have been a goal for me. Another opportunity. 
just overplayed slightly. They've got the three gold cushion, and it's showtime. number nine alongside Benzema Bale playing in the 10 row which is where you prefer him Jerry isn't it? yeah I think he should be playing in the 10 row because he's got the pace that's where that chance came from when he ran down the inside right channel and cut the ball across for Ronaldo you know when he's running with the ball I think that's when he's at his best Alves Messi stays down, they're through again, it's Suarez for four! <laughs> Luis Suarez makes it three Classico goals in three Classico appearances. Score of the first, score of the fourth. Ronaldo berates Real Madrid's inability from a defensive point of view to deal with it, but again, the space is there. And Barcelona pick the pockets of Real Madrid again. Well, Game they, over. They missed that many chances, Kevin. It could have been seven or eight, but you know, you know, you're going to get another one too. Brilliant pass from Messi. The lovely little first-time play, play layoff. They're appealing for offside. He's not offside, and he just thinks it over the advancing goalkeeper who goes down. I think a little bit too easy for me. Kaylor Navas is already down on the ground, but uh, 11 league goals now for. Suarez, 11 league goals for Neymar, they're just, they're in such great form. I never foresaw this, Kevin, though, I could honestly say, I thought it would have been a lot, lot tighter. It's been completely demolished the Real Madrid here at the Bernabeu. They have overrun the minutes. Back to the drawing board for Rafa Benitez. And that is the hottest of hot head coach seats that Rafa Benitez occupies right now. And Real Madrid are going to lose consecutive La Liga games for the first time in 46 matches. 47 counting this one. Lost just before the international break at Sevilla. Certainly, are going to lose for the tenth time in the last 15 Clasicos. Kevin, 23 league goals between Neymar and uh, Suarez. Between there's only one goal between them. Sorry, it's Suarez is on 11 and Neymar is on 12. It's unbelievable the form they've been in in the last six games. They are the partnership. And Messi's now back to add to the fire part. You go back to 2009 for the last handsome win by this sort of margin by Barcelona in the Bernabeu Classic, 6-2 on that occasion. Surely the difference in terms of the margin is the same, if not the amount of goals that Barcelona have scored, but they will be declaring a four. Iniesta declares the armband, hands it over to Messi, and Munir El Haddadi will replace him. Well, as talking to you before, I don't think he's a 90-minute player anymore, Andres Iniesta, and he's had lots of injuries this season. And you can wrap him in cotton wool. This is a sensational goal. Absolutely sensational. Probably the pick of the bunch for me. But that's what he can do. But listen, you only need Andres and Yes on the park for an hour. Even the Real Madrid supporters are applauding Andres and Yes. He is a class, class player. You know, shades of Ronaldo's, or Ronaldinho's performance. Ronaldinho, yes. A few years ago here, which drew standing ovation from. Real Madrid fans, and Iniesta enjoyed, of course, all over the world for a wonderful career. Well, I remember Ronaldinho playing a one-two and getting it on the halfway line and running from the halfway line right through to take it round the goalkeeper and put it in the net, and he got a standing ovation from the Real Madrid fans. But I think it was more because it was Roberto Carlos he was outstripping, and not too many people were quicker than Roberto Carlos. 
Well, Jerry, the mind can't help moving towards the how this result will manifest itself over the coming weeks it's from both points of view. Psychologically, Kevin, it is such a blow to Real Madrid. To lose 4-0, uh, if it stays 4-0 at home, is such a crushing blow when they were coming into the game thinking, we win the match, we go back on top and draw level with uh, on points with Real Madrid, but we go on top on goal difference. That's probably the way they were coming into the game thinking about it. But what it's done, it's totally reversed it. Luis Enrique is in cloud nine. He's thinking this is the best performance away from home from my side for many, many years. Last time they lost by a four-goal margin, was it the 6-2, Kevin? It was more, more damaging yet. More. Here's Neymar. Messi, Suarez, it's for Messi again. Once more it was around with the clearance. Isco, Cruz, finds Bale, wide open up here for a consolation, Benzema! Look at his first touch, Kevin, he doesn't know he's offside, by the way. You look at his first touch when the pass is made. He's just not match fit. Oh, you wonder how Karim Benzema is mentally at this moment in time, with problems away from the game. Oh, he looks level there. But look at his first touch, Kevin, the ball goes away from him. And you've got to see, you can see that look of disappointment, disconsolate on their face, Kevin. Well, Miami, they're enjoying the sunshine. And the Barcelona fans are enjoying the scoreline. Darkness around Real Madrid FC at the moment. It's got to be about 12 hours of difference between the two of them, isn't it? Isn't it? Uh, before this Classico got underway, Jerry, I hear these comments about Rafa Benitez being under pressure, and I'm thinking, my goodness, I know it's a, a hot seat, but one defeat this season was a brilliant start. Best defensive stats at the start of the season for a long, long time. Yeah, absolutely. Uh, yep, yeah, OK. He's going to be questioned after the manner of this defeat and also the, the ultimate scoreline come on let's get things into perspective another good save by Bravo and his saves have been important at stages in this Classico no yeah. doubt about that he's made two very good saves the, the one at the start for me was when James Rodriguez when it was 2-0 Kevin he made an excellent save and this one here you can see crossing in and it's Benzema gets the header on target good height for the goalkeeper Claudia Bravo for the cameras, I think. But, you know, they're going to question his team selection and your comment earlier in the match, Sir Benzema denied there by Bravo. It's a very valid one. He's damned if he, he does, he's damned if he, he doesn't. doesn't. Yeah. They'll be saying you should have played the players who are match fit, who've seen more minutes this season. Yeah. That's easy in hindsight. It is in hindsight. It's a difficult decision and I feel for Rafa because that's the way they're going to look at it. They'll say, pick the wrong side, these guys weren't fit. But there's no mercy, is there? Not Oh, but look, the press are already talking about his successor and they're already saying that it's going to be uh, Zinedine Zidane which I think is cruel but, but that's before today's game here's Ramos Carvajal in the 
sight of the yellow card. Very strong challenge on Neymar. I think he deserves that yellow card, Kevin. He's looking to take everything, ball, man, everything. He's gone right through the back of his leg. He's saying he got the ball, but he can't get the ball unless he goes through his leg. There's no argument there for me. Been a low count of yellow cards for a Classico by its standards. <laughs> Lebanon, they're even watching in the Lebanon. Yeah, fans of both teams. <laughs> the estimate was that there was 400 million watching around the globe. The biggest game on the planet in terms of club football. Barcelona have bossed it. Wow. The rivalry is unprecedented, Kevin. And you're right about world football. And the top players in the world are playing in this league. The Lionel Messi's, the Neymar's, the Suarez, the Ronaldo's, the Beals, the most expensive players. Oh, that's, that's a poor challenge from uh, Isco. He's going to get booked for that. A red card. Straight red wow. from Fernandez Borbalan. It goes from bad to worse for Real Madrid. Substitute Isco sent off. It's totally unnecessary as well. He's already passed him, and he knows exactly what he's doing. That's an awful chance. And the referee's got that one right for me. Totally out of order. Neymar felt that one. That's on his left knee, Kevin, from behind. That's awful. Had no place for the referee yeah. quite right to dismiss him. You can be frustrated, Kevin, but there must be discipline. There's no discipline in that challenge from Isco. Alves. It stays down here. It's a really good take from Suarez initially and Pique trying to join <laughs> the goal scoring party. He's trying to rub salt into the woods, Jared Piquet, he's been given a really bad reception by the Real Madrid fans here, which was expected. Inside the last five minutes, I feel like a long five minutes or so for the players in white. It's hard enough when you're 4-0 down with 11 players, but when you're down 4-0 and you've only got 10 players on the park, it makes it a lot more difficult. And I'm sure there's going to be one or two more chances before that final whistle's blown. Now, Lionel Messi on the ball, Kevin. Neymar. Munir. Good chance. He'd fancy him on his left foot as well to do better than that. But you know, this, this is the thing that surprises me, Kevin, the amount of space that players have got in the box. That's on the penalty spot, and he's got two yards of space to come on and strike the ball on his favourite left foot. And he should have hit the target, but Real Madrid have been so poor in every department today, it's untrue. And you can't absolve the defence as we have a little bit more for players further up the pitch for lack of minutes this season, but a lot of the defenders out there have played plenty of games. Ramos, Varane, yeah. Marcelo when he was out there, Danilo. Yeah. Varane single-handedly has blocked four shots that were all goalward bound. So he, he's not, he, he will not feel he's done well, but if you're picking people out, he's done better than some of the others. Florentino Perez is not going to be a happy man. The press will certainly give Rafa a tough time tomorrow. Not just tomorrow. There'll be nowhere to hide for a while. Players, coach alike. Danilo, forceful running. Ronaldo transferred quickly to Benzema. Deflection. It's kind to Barcelona. Could easily have crept in. 
I think the deflection almost caused a problem for Bravo. He looked as if he might have had it covered, Kevin, but it deflected. One or two fans creeping out. Well, they know the More result. One or two. The result, it's, it was there when the third goal went in. I don't think they needed the fourth. Here's Danilo. Easy for Bravo. Neymar. Interesting. Carvajal. Oh, excellent ball in. Munir! Oh, so just a chance to put the gloss on it. Look who's behind him. That's Jared PK behind him, Kevin, and he's upset that he didn't let it run through to him. That's two great chances. This game could have been a lot more than 4-0. Believe you me. Wonderful acceleration from Neymar. Early cross, and he's begging for it. PK screaming, it's mine, it's mine. And Munir takes it on his left foot, but doesn't hit the target. Carvajal. In by Bale. Ronaldo! What a save. What a save. Magnificent stop from Claudio Bravo. Well, amongst all the tales in this Classico, one of them is that when called upon, Claudio Bravo has pulled off four or five really excellent saves. Messi. off at the pass by Danilo, 90th minute now. Alves. Well, this is a fabulous cross, and look at the header from Ronaldo. Pure power and just instinctive reflexes from Claudio Bravo. And you're right, he's had a man of the match performance, Kevin. Benzema given room to turn. Support here from Bale. Bravo, the routine stop this time. As we head into stoppage time. Just got it on the shoulder, didn't he? Rather than the meat of his head. But still, good instinctive stop, good height for Bravo, but still needed to be agile. Reflexes has always been good, Kevin, I think, and uh, that was shown permanently. How many saves is that? Six? Eight. Eight? I would say at least four or five of them were top-class saves. You know, the shot there from Bale was... I didn't expect him to save that, but... It was at least four or five of them were top-class saves. The, the instinctive one when Ronaldo was put through by Gareth Bale, and he's come out and spread himself, and he got his hand and his head to the ball, that was... Again, good goalkeeper for me. When you add up the opportunities aside from the four goals that Barcelona have scored, the ones that they've missed. Kevin Navas has made a couple of notable stops as well, and those saves from Bravo. This scoreline could have ended up as anything. But Barcelona would always have been in front, whatever. Simply because they deserve to have been. I'd go as far as to say that it should have been a record uh, scoring feat. And Benzema just getting away here, wrong side. It's got to be a booking for us, this gets. Now the referee wants to do it by the book. He's right to do that, it's not going to make any difference. Sergio Busquets gets the yellow card. Well, I think it should have been a record result for Barcelona. Maybe oh, well. a record in terms of the aggregate number of goals in a Clasico. Yeah. There's the reaction for Rafa Benitez and his players at the end. The briefest of handshakes with Luis Enrique. A night, a day that the Barcelona players will milk, of course.